President-elect Joe Biden proposed a $1.9 trillion rescue plan for his first 100 days in office. Included in that plan is raising minimum wage to $15 an hour nationwide. Andy Ani reports. Many local business owners are waiting to see if a $15 minimum wage will happen for the Biden-Harris administration. Others are so sure some have growing concerns. The owner of Jumped Up Indoor Fun Park says it's a matter of timing. I don't think so. we are ready for the raise of $15 at this moment, uh, especially with this COVID and all the situation that we have to kind of close the business for so long, and especially that we don't have the same type of income that we have in the past. After suffering losses from the COVID-19 pandemic, he says they'll have to come up with a new business strategy if the minimum wage is raised. To definitely increase our sales, you know, make sure that we can pay for all the employees because, you know, if we don't make any business, we're not going to put employees, you know, in a very high salary and especially for $15 an hour. According to the Congressional Budget Office, a minimum wage increase could lead to almost 4 million layoffs. Local restaurant owners say they aren't too concerned, but are waiting to see how the increase would affect them. Um, most of our staff is making over and above that $15 an hour, um, but it would depend on what kind of credits we would you know, receive it, you know, as far as for tipping, like if we're able to you know, account some of their wages for tips. Howard says with a wage increase, often comes difficult business decisions. You might see a little bit of an increase in, in actual like, you know, cost of products then for, for the consumers. There might be some price increases to try to offset that a little bit. And obviously we don't want to do that. Biden also proposed $15 billion to aid small businesses. Only time will tell what happens with this new administration. For KX News, I'm Andy Ani. The federal minimum wage is seven twenty-five and hasn't been increased since 2009. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused small businesses in North Dakota to struggle. That's why Thursday night at 